back on the show this Wednesday. Addie Sebastian with us. She's going to tell us all about the uh, annual All Souls Memorial Service. It's happening Friday. Been going on now for 26 years. So, uh, Abby, welcome. Good to have you this morning. Thank you. Good Thank to be you here. for being with us this morning. Thank you. Tell us about what's going to happen Friday morning over in Pineville. Well, we'd like to invite the public to a uh, memorial service, mm -hmm. an All Souls Memorial Service, especially in memory of people who are buried at the cemetery, which is on the grounds of Central Louisiana State Hospital. Yeah. Um, there's a historical marker there uh, commemorating the cemetery, and as you can see on the screen, when people were buried there, when the when the sim when Central Hospital was very, very mm -hmm. active, um, they, there was a concrete marker. It's about maybe six by six inches right. Right. in diameter, and the patient's ID number would be stamped on that. There, that oh. would be their only identification. That's the only identification. So that's one reason oh. our committee mm -hmm. theme is putting names to numbers. Okay. Now, those people were buried in a pine box made by other patients, mm -hmm. and of course, through the years, everything just kind of became a pasture. Everything grew up, and right, right. Uh, so uh, a cross has been erected there, and there are just a few little gravestones uh, that have been put through the years. But many of the people who were buried there, um, their families—I mean, this is a hundred years ago. Yeah. Their families right. might not have known that they died, right. and there may not have been family members to take care of them. So there are 2,469 souls buried in that cemetery, but hardly any gravestones. And so every year for, this will be the 26th year, we have a memorial service, mm -hmm. which is ecumenical, and the public is invited right. to come for free. It'll, it'll be 10 o'clock on uh, Friday morning here uh, in Pineville. Uh, there's a, a security entrance on the, the main library, the Pineville library side. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you come from like Lake Bulow or in town, you need to, to come to the entrance um, on the library side. Okay. And then there'll be signs directing people how to get to the, um, uh, the cemetery. Right. And then following the service, which usually isn't very long, uh -huh. um, the Rose Cottage will be open for reception. Now, it's now a museum. And it used to be a morgue. That's right. It was, it was a morgue for all those people. I mean, mm -hmm. The hospital there was um, like a working hospital. People grew the food. There were, uh, there was, of course, the dairy barns right. uh, supported right. all the patients that were yeah. there. They grew sure. the, their own food, and it was it was kind of a therapy for them to to provide the sure. services that were needed. Sure. And uh, so it's it's just a fascinating place, but it's heart wrenching it at is. the same time. It and is. Putting names to numbers. That's excruciating work I would think. Well um, it's a little difficult to raise money for that but we've... Yeah. Uh, and you're with the committee. You're right. With, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cemetery Preservation Committee. Right. right. I mean. And uh, we've been able in the last year or so to get um, to try to establish a perimeter for the cemetery because mm -hmm. it just looks like a great big pasture. Right. right. Yeah. And um, so we've been able to figure out with a ground penetrating s survey mm -hmm. Uh, we hired some people to come and, and search for um, the perimeter of the cemetery so that we could, someday maybe we could build a fence, but yeah. there's, there's no fence. But if, you, if you're out there, you can see the cross and there's uh, a bench in memory, memory of some of the patients. Okay. And, uh, and the, the memorial service is Friday morning, 10 o'clock, free, open free. to the public. Public is invited and you can learn more about uh, Central Louisiana State Hospital, which is still a working hospital for exactly. the mentally ill. Abby, thanks for coming Thank by. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us and sharing with us this morning. Thank you. Abby, thanks a big baseball fan real quick. Who's one going to win tonight? <laughs> Not baseball. Well, I have mixed feelings, but maybe, I think maybe the Cleveland Indians. Indians. Yeah. Okay. She yeah. goes with the Indians. All right. This is interesting. More to come on our show this Wednesday morning. Stay with us.